Eviation basically builds a new solution to regional transport. Uh, we see ourselves as a, a new player for anyone who wants to travel anything between 100 and 600 miles. We want to get us all flying on light, all-electric aircraft. And we believe that we will be able to do this both energy efficiently and uh, very, very cheap compared to anything else that exists today. What enables aviation to reach uh, its goals is two main components. The first is a very high density energy battery and the second is a very efficient aerodynamic design uh, that we made from scratch. One of the things we found is that through 3D printing and uh, as it's called today additive manufacturing, uh, we were able to take a lot of our designs and put them to the test way before the stages of investing the kind of money needed to build an actual, uh, let's say, certifiable or even just an actual permit to fly kind of, uh, of solution. We decided to, uh, to set, um, in addition to a main uh, uh, pusher engine uh, and the tail, we decided to put two motors at the wingtips. We found this motor perfect to our needs and the problem was that we had to wait a lot of time to get it. The solution we found was to 3D print it with Stratasys 3D printer. And as you can see, the result is exactly accurate. We were able to print and assemble it with bearing, with a real bearing and understand more uh, accurate how will the real one will act. The next move for us was to say, okay, if we're paying for it anyway, let's find all the places where this makes sense. So we started looking at tooling. We're doing a lot of molds. And tooling really became one of our core uses because it's a cheap way to make your tools. Maybe they won't survive the fifth or sixth iteration, but it doesn't matter because you just want to get this first one right. We wanted to avoid interference drag as much as possible. Uh, but as soon as we finished with the simulations, we figured out that manufacturing this kind of molds is very expensive because it is very uh, curvative and uh, very streamlined. The solution was to print uh, 3D parts with Stratasys uh, 3D printers and to plant them inside the, the carbon fiber uh, which was already made. If you get to do a highly iterative in-house manufacturing process that gives you any kind of result, that process could be crucial to the life of the company, especially if you're a startup. All in all, at Aviation, I can estimate today that in two years of operation, we probably saved several hundreds of thousands of dollars through 3D printing, and I would suggest roughly six months or more of man hours.